Good evening zookeepers and welcome back. Now I've been wanting to do this video for a few days now but I've either been really busy trying to keep on schedule or been ill. So it hasn't really worked out too well for me but obviously we have got a new DLC coming to Planet Zoo. Uh, that one being the Zookeepers Animal Pack releasing on the 15th of October. So only two days from when I'm actually making this video and uh, honestly I'm super excited. There's some really cool species in this pack and one that I'm very particularly excited for being the uh, African Spur Tortoise. I really do love these creatures. They're such a nice like looking tortoise and as well that means we're going to get another species of tortoise to add to our roster which I'm very happy about. I love my reptiles and I'm definitely going to love enjoying watching these walk around my uh, zoo. As you see in the background right now I'm actually making a zoo just to display the uh, new animals on so I'm getting several seven enclosures built up and we're going with the classic zoo themes I really do enjoy uh, that kind of theming it looks really cool and I'm making this zoo very simple it's not going to be massive because I only need seven enclosures and I want it to be uh, easy to build in so when the animals come in I can just quickly go into the enclosures and design them the way I want to and yeah honestly it's it's good fun when you make simple zoos and sort of restrict yourself to like certain species and not use the full map I mean I quite enjoyed making this it's not complete right now it's just semi complete but I've got I've got another two days to finish it off anyways the next creature I'm really excited for is the palace cat it's such an adorable uh, like wild cat it's a uh, very iconic in being known for looking really grumpy and uh, honestly it looks amazing in this game so again I can't wait to be able to add that to my zoo and uh, I feel like I don't know if it's going to be one of those creatures that I'm going to easily lose. I notice a lot of time with small creatures, I, I do tend to lose them. I uh, either go too wild with the enclosure and all the decoration and plants inside to the point where I only see it once or twice, which uh, in reality can happen in a lot of enclosures and is more than likely better for the animal because it doesn't feel like it's being completely stared out. But yeah, honestly, it, it's adorable, adorably angry cat. And uh, as well, another cool creature, a new lima to the pack is the uh, Cockerel Shavak. Um, I really struggle pronouncing it. I, f I feel like I might have nailed it there. I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, honestly, they look so cool. And I, if you're making like a Madagascar area, it's just another really cool animal to add, especially if you're doing like a lima walkthrough. And honestly, they're a really pretty animal, like especially with like all the colors. But I also feel at the same time, they look shocked. Like every time I see a photo of them, it looks like they're in shock when they're seeing something. And I don't know if it's just me that feels like that, but honestly, yeah, another really cool animal. And I feel like this in this sort of uh, pack has a lot of cute animals that they're adding in. So the next one, the Kirk's Dick Dick, is absolutely beautiful. A bit of hell if you're moderating a uh, Facebook page because <laughs> of the name. So I, I, I volunteer, volunteer, um, volunteer, volunteer, what I'm going to say. I volunteer as a moderator uh, and admin for a page uh, that does like Planet Zoo stuff. And honestly, whenever he, someone mentions about the Kirk Dick Dick, it comes up in like warnings and things like that to go and check that uh, comment out. <laughs> it's, it's quite funny. But again, it's an adorably cute creature and I really can't wait. Like, some of these creatures are brilliant. Like, I, I feel like I might say this with a lot of DLCs that I see, but it's just another really cute animal. Like, I'll put a picture up and you'll have seen it already or we'll see it right now. Uh, but yeah, honestly. It's going to be a really nice addition to like your parks. I know a lot of these animals are fan favourites uh, and then people have been asking for these for a while. I know a lot of people are excited for birds. I mean, so am I. Like, I absolutely love birds. It was a section I used to work on when I used to be a zookeeper. So birds are very like my cup of tea. Hopefully in Planet Zoo 2, if that is something we'll be getting, which I, I have high hopes that we will be getting. Probably 2026, 2027 would be my bet. Uh, around that work in the year but I hope we see more birds in the future it'd be really cool and then uh, next up we have the Markhorn which is a really cool uh, goat with like twisted like horns and they use these for like um, 
well, display, combat, defense, digging up food and things like this. It's it's a really multi-purpose horn. <laughs> and again, they're so cool. They're going to definitely be a standout animal in your zoos just because of those horns. And they've nailed the look in this. Like uh, Some of the screenshots I've seen so far look incredible of this animal. So I'm definitely looking forward to being able to add that to our zoos. Uh, next up we have the speckled uh, bear. Uh, <laughs> I said that right. a bit weird. Uh, kind of, it's a bit bad. Today's speech has not been the greatest. But honestly, again, it's a really cool bear. I think we have nearly all species of bear in this game, bar one, which is really cool to be honest, because bears are a very like, I think they're an adorable animal again. They are really cute, and they're, they're just like an interesting creature to go and watch do their thing, because uh, they're quite a curious animal uh, in nature. So yeah, honestly, <laughs> so they just look great. And the picture of them as like a little family group is really adorable. Um, and I probably will try and make like a bear island to keep these on, so I think that would be kind of cute to see. Uh, and then, anyways, the last animal to mention, something I really can't wait to see, because these are my favourite baboons, the Hamadryas baboon. They just look incredible from the screenshots I've seen. And yeah, honestly, I love that like big fluffy coat that they have, and uh, they are a great animal to like watch. Very uh, interesting to watch in their social groups and things like this and how they interact with people looking at their enclosures and the way they interact with their enclosure in general. It's something that's just really exciting. Anyways, now the main question is, is this going to be the last DLC for Planet Zoo? We might never know to be honest because looking at the name of it, the Zookeepers Pack, kind of really rings a bell with the Jurassic World Evolutions Park Managers Pack, or Collection Pack, uh, and that's, as far as we know, is the last DLC for Jurassic World Evolution 2. They haven't actually came out and officially said that, that is the last DLC, but kind of putting two to two together, so it was a while when that DLC came out, and then obviously this having kind of a ring to it, I feel like this could be the last DLC for uh, Planet Zoo and it kind of like coincides in almost like the timing when we're, it's just not long till we get Planet Coaster 2 and obviously there'll be a lot of work on that game and they are also building the next Jurassic World game so they're probably going to need hands to somewhat come away from this game. Also it's had five years of life which is really, it's really spectacular and great fan service because this game is honestly amazing. Uh, so yeah, I kind of do feel this could be our last DLC. It'd be a nice surprise if it isn't. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it's probably going to be a bit of a shocker for some people. Alongside this DLC, we're also getting over 95 scenery pieces. And looking at the pictures, we've got some really cool stuff like picnic benches, you got some like nice looking chairs in there, some lanterns and uh, like some buntings of things and like celebration kind of like tents. Obviously this is coinciding with like their uh, anniversary and we're getting a free leopard with it which is really cool and looks absolutely stunning. So I feel like it's going to be a really nice month and a lot of things to mess around with and build uh, for your zoos. But anyways, that is it from me today. I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.